This is the future. It was only seven months ago when I shared an updated Protea build video, and I thought I would never make another updated build for this Warframe for a year. Well, I guess I'm wrong because of all the things added recently, the Protea video went from great to god build. Okay, let me explain first what exactly is the Protea build I have shared seven months ago. It's a combination of Ensnare and Protea's Blaze Artillery. I know most will subsume lava on Protea, but I prefer to ensnare for various reasons. One is that, it's very effective crowd control since it not just group enemies in place, but it will stun lock them in place. The same can be said with lava, but you would need a shorter duration for lava so you can reactivate it again. On the other hand, ensnare is always active, as long as the ensnared target is not yet killed, it will ensnare other enemies around the target. Another good reason why I decided to go with Ensnare is that it's super effective in Steel Path levels since it can ensnare Acolytes, leaving them helpless to your attacks. It is the better version of Lava in my opinion, as it does not only group targets to let your Blazing Artillery build up lots of heat damage, but it also has benefits at a high level. The only problem with the build is survivability since I had to mean max power strength and range in the mod setup, I have sacrificed a lot of survivability mods and can't take advantage of the shield mechanic of this build. Although shield gating works, it is not enough since it becomes hectic when you use the build in steel path levels. Normally, shield gating would not be enough as I also have blind rage on the build. I know Protea has dispensary, but we need a speedy caster build to make shield gating actually work every time. It's a part of the survivability kit, but the main survival skill on this combo is the stalk mod available on the Hera's Cubrow. This simply makes you invisible almost every time in steel path levels as long as there are enemies present within 24 meters, keeping you alive for the rest of the mission, as long as you don't use any weapons. In the Protea build's case, you won't use any weapons and make good use of the stalk mod since you will only be casting abilities. It was a fun synergy and right now, it has become super powerful with a few additions. Normally, I am running the Umbrella Intensify on this slot, but now, I have replaced it with Archon Vitality for the heat status effect of this mod. The heat damage shot by Protea's artillery procs twice, dealing more damage, and making it very effective DPS. Since I have removed so much power strength on this build, I decided to use Molt Augmented to get 60% power strength, which is higher compared to the Umbrella Intensify setup. Also, for more DPS, I added Molt Efficiency for duration. The longer the Blaze Artillery is active, the more damage it dishes out and, Molt Efficiency is very easy to proc with Protea since she got the grenade fan that gives out constant shield when you press and hold the ability button. Why put Equilibrium on this? To get rid of energy problems. Another best in slot mod in the Hera's Cubrow is the Synth Fiber mod that allows you to pick up those health orbs from Dispensary, and converts them to energy with the help of the Equilibrium mod. And take note, you can pick up these health orbs even if your health is full, allowing you to gain constant energy through both energy and health orbs dropped by Protea's ability. To make the build better against all factions in the game, just simple use the Unara Focus for its magnetic flare that removes shield, and Caustic Strike that removes armor. Since you won't have any energy problems, might as well give more utility to Protea, and the defense strip will come pretty handy in Steel Path to level cap missions. Honestly, I have so much fun playing with Protea right after the Angels of Zaraman and now, it got even better thanks to the Archon Vitality mod from the Veilbreaker update, not to mention that she looks really stunning right now with her deluxe skin. This Warframe is a complete package for me, both gorgeous and deadly. The right combination for an Earth. I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.